Javier Builds a Bridge, Chapter 6, Brainstorming Bridges. The party started a few hours later. I waited restlessly for Manny and Jennifer. Come on, I said as soon as they arrived. I have something to tell you. I pulled them away from the loud music, the laughter, and the long tables of the food. Louisa was on our heels. In my bedroom, I told my cousins the whole story of falling into the stream and what had happened next. And now, I said, I get to design a new bridge, but I need your help figuring out how to do it. I help, too, Louisa exclaimed. No, Louisa, you're too little, my cousin Manny shouted. Manny's sharpness surprised me. Louisa looked surprised, too. Her chin wrinkled like she might cry. I thought about what Abuelito had said before. Louisa just wants to be big like the rest of us, I realized. Maybe I'm supposed to build a bridge to bring her closer to me. Well, maybe she can help a little, I told Manny. We can pretend. He and Jennifer nodded. So we need some ideas, I said. Do you know any famous bridges we could copy? Oh, I know a good one, Jennifer said. I know one too, said Manny. I bet mine's better. Mine's the Natchez Trace Bridge, Jennifer said. My family drove over it when we visited Mississippi on vacation. She sketched a line with two humps underneath like a curvy M. We read the plaque at the rest area. Mom said, these arch things are supposed to be really strong. When the weight of the car pushes down on the road, she explained. The supports on the side, they're called abutments, push in. Anyway, the bridge won a design award for how it looks. I think it's the best bridge in the whole world. Manny replied, not the best, best, though. Mine's the best, best. It's the Golden Gate Bridge where I live. Everyone who visits San Francisco goes to see it. He drew two big towers with cables hanging between them like streamers. It's a hanging bridge. Uh, I mean a suspension bridge. These cables are like suspenders keeping somebody's pants up. What about you, Javier? What bridges do you know? Jennifer asked. I shrugged. I drew a picture of the longest bridge I've ever seen. We drove over it when we went to Louisiana. It's just like all the other bridges I've been drawing. I made a bridge too, Louisa said. She explained her scribbles and splotches. Trees, ropes, wing, a fairy house. That's Javi. Oh, nice, Louisa, Jennifer said. She looked at me and Manny. What now? I don't think it'll work to mix all these ideas together. Let's build my bridge, Manny said. Manny, Jennifer put a hand on her hip. How are we supposed to get cables and make the tower? The bridge has to work in real life, you know. But your arch bridge is going to be hard to build, too, Manny said. How will we even make the arch? So we'll try Javier's idea then, Jennifer suggested. No, I only drew this because I can't think of anything else, I said. Mama already said it might not work because we'd need to build extra supports in the river. My cousins felt quiet. Louisa kept talking. See my drawing, heavy trees, water, swing, bird. And this time I paid attention. Louisa showed me a line and a scribble for the tire swing hanging from a tree branch right next to the river. There was a stick figure hanging from a different branch. It reminded me of how I would grab the branches at the edge of the rope and plank bridge. I took another look at Manny's drawing of the hanging bridge. Hey, I said, look at that. Louisa gave me an idea. We can use rope for a cable to make a bridge like Manny's. What'd you call it? A suspension bridge, Manny said, grinning. Jennifer was squinting at the drawings. I still don't get how we're going to build those towers. We don't need to, I said. We can use the trees on the riverbank and hang rope across, like a clothesline. I sketched the details. We can hang the bridge from the rope. It took a second for Jennifer to picture what I meant, but then she nodded. Our hands got busy. We chattered with new ideas and drew a plan. Let's test it out with the chairs as as the trees. Where should we put the strings? How are we going to attach them? We figured out the basic idea. Then we collected the string and cardboard. When we were done, we tested our model with one of my toy cars. As soon as we put the the car down, the whole bridge buckled and tipped. 
Aw, no, I said, remembering when Louisa and I fell into the river. Joel never let us build that. He said, a bridge shouldn't be thrown off balance when the weight's put on it. Jennifer crouched near the bridge where the car had fallen off. Maybe it's okay. I think we only need to move the string around. It should pull up here where the car was pushing down too hard. We went back to work and improved the bridge. We decided where to add more strings and paid attention to pulling up on the bridge where the weight of the cars would push down. We went back and forth between planning our new ideas and making and trying the model bridge. We even let Louisa put the test cars on the bridge. One, two, three, four, five. She counted them out and we all cheered. At last our bridge seemed strong enough. Jennifer said, now we have to make a railing so Louisa stays safe. We brainstormed ideas and finally decided to weave strings between the suspenders. This bridge was out, was getting better and better. At last, it was time for Joe to check out the idea and tell us if he approved.